F double R, F double R, F double R, F double R. Gotta bring that energy. Gotta bring that energy. What's going on, family and friends? We are your two hosts. I'm Brolic. And now I'm formal. And welcome back to F double R, where friends request friends to watch Breaking Bad Season 4, Episode 5, Title <laughs> Shotgun. <laughs> now, <laughs> we know we left off on a bit of a cliffhanger last week with uh, Jesse disappearing with Mike. So, knowing that, how you feel going into this next episode, Formal? I'm feeling pretty good. I'm feeling pretty good, man, coming off of that last one. You know, coming out of a 7 out of 10, you can, o- you can only hope for greatness to, <laughs> to follow through. <laughs> but, you know, I, I assume the title Shotgun is, is as literal as Jesse riding Shotgun with Mike. Okay. So... I think we just gonna have a full on journey with with Jesse and Mike this episode. They might show us a couple of flashes of of what, uh, you know, going through it, missing this boy Jesse, trying to figure out what's going on. Mm-hmm. Might I don't know. Might even push him a little over the edge with Mike out the picture. Walt might have a chance to run up on Gus, but you know Tyra's still out there too. So I don't know. <clears throat> I'm ready to jump in though. I'm I'm interested. Let's see what what Mike and Jesse got going on. Well, Road trip yeah let's see with that being said we're gonna just dive right into this episode let's get it let's go i want you to give her every last dollar do you hear me i don't care if you have to stuff it in trash bags just make sure she gets everything Mm. shit what could have been a nascar driver bro (laughs) him and that little Family hybrid giant, man. <laughs> Whipping that shit. Hey, it's me. I was thinking about you and the kids. I love you. Well, my boy just threw out the will, like, yo, like, this is it, like. The third, the snubby under there. Dark Souls. Oh my god, this boy is whipping. <laughs> he be whipping. Ain't nobody called the police on this man? Yo. That boy pulled up to the to the, uh, to the chicken chat. Yep. And parked that shit perfectly. Uh oh. Are we gonna see a. Look how you walking with that thing. Cross draw. Moment. That's crazy. I just said they might show walk on some unhinged type shit. <laughs> Look at this man. Smoking gun. He think he Clint Eastwood out here. You just go in the back and you tell him it's Walter White. Understand? Mm. He'll know what it's about. I'll wait. She about to be asking more questions again. <laughs> she like this the second time. <laughs> my reason waited in that boot, like <laughs> waiting for my boss. Like what's going on? Oh, look, it's on you. Mhm. Snipe. Think what? Look, they all think. want you. <laughs> Yo, my boy really got the arcade joysticks back there. Just <laughs> we all on you. They they ain't seen you pull up, bro. Come on, obviously. <laughs> they got the arcade stick. I mean, it's a bold move by Walt. That boy got the bullfrog. <laughs> <laughs> he looked like he finna, <laughs> like dude from Kung Fu Hustle. Like he got the, the <laughs> he's ready to straight. Mm-hmm. He a toe master, <laughs> bro. Straight toe style. Yo, Jesse. yo, I'm riding shotgun, yeah. chilling. Jesse, where, where are you? Are you all right? Does he have a gun on you? No. <laughs> what you need to do is to go back to your lab and get on with the cook. You're going to have to muddle through this one without him, okay? Mm. That's what's going on. Man, they trying to see if my boy can operate Dolito so they could snip my boy Jesse out the picture. Nah, Walt said he ain't going for it. He said he ain't going to work with them if they do that. Hey, <laughs> you're not allowed back there. Excuse me, sir. As I said, sir, Mr. Fring is not here. <laughs> you see the way he walked in? He walked in and... 
set the feet real quick and planted them. Like he was really about. He to was about pull. to bust it out the jacket the through the piece. jacket, like. Bro, through man, through the jacket, five piece biscuit, like. <laughs> this is bullshit, right? <laughs> now you worried? Are you awake now? You starting to sober up? <laughs> is it making sense? You know where you at? Keys in between the fingers. Are you uh okay. figure on just I'll tell you now, you better shoot straight. Oh, man. I'll slice off your other ear before this is over. <laughs> that's, that's, that's personal, man. He making it personal. This is just business. Relax. <laughs> they taking my mans under the windmill. Like, they got a little spot for him. <laughs> they about to throw him in the well. <laughs> Shovel versus keys. We know how you are, Jesse. You be getting manhandled like a Chanel bag. Like, <laughs> like what are you really going to do to Mike? Jesse, like. That's how I am. I'm like, bro, I can't even, I can't even react. <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> like, you coming? We got to do this six more times today with a lot of miles in between. I'd like to finish before dark. <laughs> oh my gosh. Sounds like a long, boring day. Who does this, you know? Your boy Heisenberg thought we had him already. Yeah, keep dreaming. I wish I could help you there. Only two people I know connected with the blue stuff. Uh, one is a beanie wearing jizz stain by the name <laughs> of Brandon Mayhew, street name uh, Badger. Well, we have a composite of a person of interest. It's a guy neighbor saw at Bedecker's place right after the shooting. Mm -hmm. I knew it. I knew they was going to have Vic. He was tripping. He was all up in there. Well, finding this guy, Heisenberg, dead like this, kind of feels like closure to me. You know? He just want to be a mineral miner <laughs> for the rest of his life. But he's lying to himself. He's lying to him, at least. He's lying about something. Nah, it feels like Look closure. Look in his eyes. Nah. Yeah. He knows there's more to it. <sighs> <laughs> now he's standing lookout. Like, like, boy, if you don't... You feel me? Like, what is you doing out here? Right? Be like your backup? No. I do this by myself whenever I want. What? Smoking. I can smoke, right? Not a chance. <laughs> Not in the Oldsmobile, boy. Not a chance. <laughs> you know how many Whoa. of these are out here? Jesse is, Jesse is my reaction right now. <laughs> what is happening here? Playing around with a stick in your mind, like. <laughs> like, what's going on here? Just like. I mean, I'm here to do a job, right? Yo, like, if I'm the guy, then you should just tell me what the hell's up. Okay. Yeah, what? I'm tired of him. You are not the guy. You're not capable of being the guy. I had a guy, but now I don't. Mm. You are not the guy. Mm. Then what the hell am I doing here? I don't know. It's not my call. I just do what I'm told. Shut up and stay in the car till we finish our pickups. Damn. R.I.P. Vic. <laughs> <laughs> that was Mike's boy toy, and now he going like <laughs> it's over. Like. <laughs> now let's see. Whoa. All right. Working by himself, working by himself cooking yeah. Dolito. As long as it's ninety six percent or more, that's all I guess care about. <laughs> Get up already. Yep, back to it.
It's approved. Notarized. Feel me? Let's go. How are you feeling? How do you feel? Um. He don't even know. He got too much other shit going on. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We do. Like I said, Mara, it's a celebration. Nothing too expensive. Voicemail. Oh, she that. never got this. I thought he sent it to her, Sally. Here we go. Time for some complete honesty. <laughs> yeah, complete honesty. What you talking about? Hmm. Sounded real scared and nervous right there. Did he though? <laughs> Oh, I had a positive effect. I was it's crazy because I was wondering if she heard it yet. But there's the answer. <laughs> yes. Sir. Hey. My boy finally made it home. There you go. Finally back home. Full circle. This is what you said that, that needed to happen, right? Yeah. It did. You said now to seal the deal, they need to fornicate. <laughs> I did say that, <laughs> but they still got to cut some loose ends as well. <laughs> it's always another step <laughs> once you win the game. I'm here for it. Maybe you should move back in. There we see. Her point's just going up. <laughs> he laid it on her. <laughs> he did. Yeah, because you were saying he she had to was, after what Ted did to her. He put the whole knee in it. But I'm just, he did, but <laughs> she got him like, it's time for you to move in. Or back in, at least. Mm -hmm. Look, she she cuddling onto her clothes like if they back in high school and it's her first time with him, like, or college, wherever they met. I don't know. <laughs> They got him out here learning new hard skills and shit. <laughs> Running the lab dolo. These are the consequences, man. You got Victor killed because you got Gail killed. Because. <laughs> because, because, because. So slow down, slow down, slow down. No, 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 no. Tilt the forks in the. Damn, I'm done. That's it. Finished. Nothing else happens until I get my partner back. That's what we was waiting for, man. That's the scene. That's what that's what we need. My boy said I ain't doing a thing and I'm laying down on your couch as well. <laughs> Girl, nobody what? You don't want shit. What do you want it? <laughs> it was that easy. <laughs> man. <laughs> What's up? Car in the back. He don't got no rearview mirror on that car neither, so he can't even see. I mean, what Jesse gonna do? I mean, he not paying attention anyway. I mean, what I mean, he gonna he do start though? Running or something? <laughs> he could, is that it? I don't think that's a dead end. He could do something. Oh, he peed it. Okay. Oh. I thought that shit, he must have had it flipped up earlier. There we go. That's even bolder than I thought. I thought it was mm. okay. <laughs> I think that answers the question that was just kind of in my head. Which was what? Maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Whose men were those? Be picked up. Now. Mmm, boy pulled up, found his Cancel ass. That. <laughs> you gonna let him smoke? You gotta step your ass outside. Go ahead, kid. Damn. Smoke up. <laughs> earned it. He earned a cigarette. At least rolled a window down, though. Good morning, son. 
You want me to pour you some juice? Uh, I'll take a coffee. Oh, he a man now. You started drinking coffee. I also started tying my own shoelaces, too. I'm by myself. <laughs> Go <laughs> grab a mug. Oh, man, it's out here. Big dog. <laughs> I'm all grown up now. Milk? Sugar? Just black? He a man's man. He became a man of the house when war was gone. Huh. How about that? <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, my God. Oh, my gosh. They just don't <laughs> let me go an episode, one episode without the bull. Like. <clears throat> they found a way to do them in there. <laughs> you feel me? Like, they just can't let it rest. I would have just threw that cup in the trash. Like, what you talking about? What's happening here? Jesse! Jesse! Walt is like a worried parent. He like, what the hell? Jesse. He's like, shit normal. I was out with Mike helping make pickups. Picking up what? Cash that drops. Mike made the pickups and I guarded him. <laughs> Ooh, yes. The ATM smash, <laughs> so you better remember, like... He said, what is this, a joke? Get in gear, yo, if you want to do this, because I'm meeting up with Mike this afternoon. What mm. again, why? Guess I have two jobs now. Damn, Jesse the real player now. Mm. Well, you, you, you not needed, bro. You the, you the lag, you the flunky, bro. You a peon. Mm. Jesse a lieutenant. Mm. Mm. He done went up in the ranks. You feel me? You can't beat him, promote him. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, debrief time. Let's Any go. Any injuries? Twisted ankle. Nothing too bad. Ah, uh, so it was good. It all man. went like you thought it would, more or less. I will, of course, reimburse you for the damage to your vehicles. Questions? Uh, more than a few, yeah. <laughs> but I know better than to ask. Mm. Nah, I got questions. Ask anyway. me. Anyway. The idea of owning a car wash seems so daunting, but I have to remind oh, myself. Oh, who is just the most beautiful little girl in the world? I think it's you. Look at Hank, man. Well, there's another battle in the kitchen. Just help yourself. Ah, good. Yeah, I'll join you, what? Um, maybe we could roll Uncle Hank through the car wash. <laughs> they said roll that man for real. <laughs> I just heard that at the <laughs> end. First custody, like. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Walt well, not feeling family time, as usual. <laughs> but all because of the shit that he got going on in life, outside of family. Hey, Uncle Hank. What about that? case you were looking at mm, what a subject to bring guy. back <laughs> uh, crazy is 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 uh is the wrong word uh, this guy gail bedecker he was uh he was eccentric I mean, real eccentric. character you know he was a real character i like yeah he would have been interesting to keep around uh, meth cook uh he dun, was a dun, meth dun. chef mm. <laughs> and we're talking five stars candles and white tablecloth <laughs> I, I can't believe the words would come out of my mouth, but he was a genius, plain and simple. I mean, uh, boy, if he'd applied that big brain of his to something good, I don't know, who knows what could have helped humanity or something like that. I mean, how many actual geniuses are there in the world, right? People that kind of taking his life in a different direction. <clears throat> Hank, not to tell you your business, but... I'm not sure I agree. Oh, well, you know you don't have too much to drink. Well, I mean, you showed me that notebook. And you know how you be when you saw, be. Yeah, you have and be on that. just my humble opinion. From what I saw on those papers. Genius? <laughs> not so much. Just looks like nothing more than just simple road copying. Wow. <sighs> This is where the episode gets good, and it's the end. <laughs> Enough students to know. Mm. At freaking Hank's house. Well, this genius of yours. 
Maybe. What? You're still out Why, there. bro? Stop drinking. Skyler, what are you doing? Say something. Step in. For real. Meticulous Skyler. That was her time. What are you doing? That was definitely the time yeah. to step in. Tim stopped by. He he brought over some file boxes on that case. Oh, mm, man. He, he back right to back it back already. In the game. That's great. Next day air, baby. No, 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 don't be. Don't be exactly back to your shit. You want me to make some coffee? Yup. Yeah. There's your husband. He's back. Yep. Welcome home. Once we get his ass off his ass, that's it. It's over. He might walk around with the cane like house, maybe. Who knows? <laughs> He's a detective who he just won't be in the field no more. Just this guy I'm looking at. Mm. Since when do vegans eat fried chicken? Mm. Mm. That boy, Brad. That's what I always like about Hank. He a real ass detective. He ain't no idiot, man. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. All right. There we have it. Episode five in the books. How you feeling after that episode, former? You was right. It was definitely... The ending saved, man, the ending saved it. Like I said during that episode, so far, season four only pops off at Hank's house, man. That's that's the best place to be right mm -hmm. now. That's where everything moving along. So that ending definitely saved it. Um, but the rest of the episode was just the rest of the episode. I mean, there were some good things that I liked throughout the episode, though, especially with Jesse's, with Jesse, what's going on with Jesse, and especially what's going on with Walt. So, uh, dang, I don't even know where I want to start. Hey, we'll be starting that. I'm I guess we'll we'll talk about the journey. We'll talk about Jesse riding shotgun and mm -hmm. stuff like that. Like, I mean, <clears throat> for the most part, I'm I'm confl I'm still conflicted about it, man. Because like, yeah, man, it's crazy. Because Gus, all right, so Gus set it up. Obviously, set up the whole thing. Towards the end, I was I wasn't a hundred percent sure. Uh, who who those men belong to right mm -hmm. because remember was it last episode I th yeah last episode they just showed you know the the uh the chicken truck yep. getting shot up yep, yep. so i was like okay is this you know that happening again yeah. so like in my mind i was just like, okay so gus ain't got nothing to do with this um because at first that's what i thought it was it was the hit like um but apparently it, it, it was that but the end result was supposed to be for jesse to be the hero though like so I'm just kind of I'm conflicted by that because what if Jesse didn't react the way that Gus assumed he would would have reacted would would the shooter like walk away or would they would they have actually like killed him like so that's I'm I'm kind of confused there like I don't know what the hell maybe maybe Gus had a plan for both directions or both uh, outcomes you know yeah both outcomes there we go so maybe maybe that was that like he he had a a plan for both outcomes so the one that Jesse's the hero maybe is the one that he was just truly hoping for i mean that's why mike said you got what you want mm -hmm. <clears throat> you. um so that was that was kind of interesting i know it was it was also pretty interesting to see mike be a little bit more frustrated and emotional we don't get to see much of mike's emotions come out but jesse definitely got on his nerve this episode and, and to the point where he said you know the man is gone like he was hurt i don't know i'm just i want to know what's up with mike and vic like <laughs> I, I was just playing around calling him his boy toy but it's obviously that you know mike and vic definitely was seems like they was a little bit closer than, than what the show at least showed us so um yeah that was kind of cool to see that but the most interesting thing in my personal opinion is what they're doing to walt right now so like mm. at first i just kind of had no idea like i feel like i was just like i don't know what they're doing maybe they're just trying to see if walt could run the lab by themselves to see if killing jesse is even something that they can do right now mm -hmm. um but now i'm like it looks like <laughs> Nah, I lied. I said I know what they doing, but I don't. I still don't know what they kind of do. So I know that they for sure destroying his ego right now. Okay. Like that's one thing. Like to the point where, it, it, to the point where he couldn't even sit at the dinner table and just absorb what Hank was talking about or saying about Gail. Like he had to step up and, like we see and, and we we've seen Walt like this before. Like with the money and stuff like that. How he had to show it to Holly. Like yep. he. After a while, the man wants his, you know what I'm saying? He wants his the pat on his back as well. Yeah. Like, he wants people to know that he, he out here. Exactly. Like, so 
that, that I feel like the only reason he couldn't deal with that is because of what Gus was already doing to him, though. Like, <laughs> like for example, Jesse, Jesse saying like, "Yeah, I was out there being his bodyguard. I guess I got two jobs." Like, it's really making Walt seem like he he the lowest on the the totem pole right now. Mm. And we already know we can't play with Walt's pride. He that's when Heisenberg really starts to come out. Like, yep. so that all trickled into just a lot of some trouble i'm gonna say some trouble right now because i assume it's gonna be a lot down the road but we don't know yet or at least i don't know yet but that trickled down into some trouble because now he just helped spark some more fire under hank's ass to look into that case hank was ready to be done with that yep. he's i'm good i got my little closure i felt like he really didn't like i feel like they was gonna find some way to to to, in, to reintroduce the case anyways mm -hmm. um but I had no idea they were going to do it this way. I think the, the way they did it is way better than probably anything I could have imagined. Like, the, the fact that sitting there hyping up Gail's genius yep. is is what caused Walt this... It, oh, my God. Bro, that scene... Bro, Hank's house is, is the spot. Season four, Hank's house. That's what I'm going to call season yep. four. It's Hank's house, bro. Because right now, Hank's house is carrying this freaking season. Every time we get there, the plot moves and it gets crazy, man. Like I and it's it's just crazy that Skylar really sat there and let him say all of that. Like and she just butted in too. That's the worst part. Like how you just butt in and then the part where we need you to butt in, <laughs> you sitting there quiet with your damn mouth open. <laughs> like she, real life. She probably was just realizing exactly. like, oh shit. No, that like I'm I'm married to Neil Cortex, like the true <laughs> mastermind out here, like like real life mad scientists. <laughs> So I don't. I'm. I'm. I'm actually kind of curious to what the next conversation between her and Walt is gonna be like. I wonder mm. if she's gonna address what happened at that table mm. because, to me, that's. And we already seen when Walt's under the influence, that man, he go, he a pillow talker. Like, yep. So, yeah, I'm very interested to see what the next conversation oh, is gonna be man. with Miss Meticulous Skysenberg and freaking <sighs> Mr. Walter White, like because she got to get in his ass. She has to dig in this man's ass because he needs to know he fucked up right there. Okay. Like, so you think she, she needs to go up. in on him? Yeah. 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 As much as I hate hearing her ass doing all the <laughs> nagging, this this is the time when we need it. Okay. Because like he like I said, he lit the fire. Like you seen the next scene, my boy Hank at the table with the files all over. And they won't even the salt or pepper shaker on the table. That shit was completely clear. <laughs> that man had... And Marie walked in happy as hell. You want? She didn't say nothing, but you good? Oh, sorry, I got this space. To, you want me to make you some coffee? That's all she was gonna say. She gonna walk out and let that man do his thing. Mm -hmm. And we already know Hank's smart. Like I, I said that way back in like season two when we first started this channel. Like he ain't just some bullshit detective that's just sitting around. Like that man got the deductive reasoning. Like he, he puts two and two together. Like I mean, you seen it right there. This vegan organic. The hell you got the little pollos her mom yep. for? Like come on, man. We already put in, and then Walt did the damn monologue of genius. Come on, man. Walt, you got it. Uh, this is, yeah. I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen next. I mean. That, man. What, 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 but if you had to guess, what what would be the next move for Hank, though? If you had to guess. With, that's a tough one. Because I'm still, I'm, I, that's a tough one, man. Because. Mm -hmm. That's a tough one, bro, because I remember when we first started watching Breaking Bad, I used to always say, like, oh, Hank gonna be the inside DEA. Yeah, like, he gonna exactly. That. He don't fuck with the DEA like that for real, so he wanted to get that side bread. Yep. So now he's actually in a position to really do that. Mm. But it doesn't, to me, it doesn't seem like that. He said he was done being a cop, but now that the fire is starting to get back, because he said that under, the, under you know, distress, in my opinion, you know what I'm saying? He was already injured. Mm -hmm. He's still down, like... So it doesn't he might not have been talking from the heart like and, and it looks like he's ready to be a detective again. I just don't know what that means if he finds out that it's Walt who's his man. Like so um I don't know. That's I don't know, man. I don't think Hank's gonna be for the for the meth team. Nah. Like, he gonna Nah man. He out here. That's Detective Hank. That's his soul. That's that's he don't he can't operate without that shit. Man. Like he can't. I, I, I'm just. Can't. I'm so happy that we're here now. We finally getting into the to to the to the thick of it. You know, we get we, you know into the thick of it. You know, you know what I'm saying. And and it's just nice re recollecting on your 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 past episodes. 
when you used to you really did used to say yo Hank was gonna be Team Walt and all this shit, yo. That... Team Mineral Rock. <laughs> and now, you switching sides. I'm about I... to go back to cop. My man, everything, everything Gus do is damn near through the local, through uh, Pollo Loco, like or uh, Pollo Hermano. Mm-hmm. My bad, freaking. I'm thinking Pollo Loco. Like <laughs> even even when they was uh getting rid of bodies they was doing that in the chicken trucks like everything he do is in the chicken truck yep. so yeah that's a huge reveal especially since gus isn't uh a in the shadow character neither like they know this man hank and shook this man's hand mm-hmm. you know what i'm saying he done ate his chicken like this yeah this was an episode yeah it, episode. It, i i didn't know how this episode was gonna do with you you know what i'm saying because i know i knew how it like starts off and I knew how it played out. Like, we were, in, in my opinion, we were like Jesse in that seat. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> damn, right. man. Like, when, when is this day going to be over? Like, you know what I'm saying? And, and you just there <laughs> fidgeting and shit. So that that's kind of how I relate to this episode, like, in the beginning. But that that, that end, you know, the, the end half, you know, it kind of gets you, like, in the mood to, like, really dive into the next episode. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah, and to talk and speculate. Exactly. You know me. Exactly. That's my favorite thing. Let's talk about the show, speculate what's gonna happen. So if it do that for me, I'm 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 gonna start feeling good. And that's what that's what Hank's house did. Season four, Hank's house, baby. Yeah, man, that's Hank's house spot. is where, where it's at. And I and, and and Walt finally got back into the crib. You know, he 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 finally home now. So that was nice to see. Yeah, yeah, you know, I didn't touch on that. It, that was nice to see. Although we had to throw in the freaking mug. Oh. But, <laughs> Oh my God! Just but my boy, perfect right there, perfect setup, just perfect setup. You know what I'm saying? Don't forget about this character, okay? Ben a key. I was. It's funny. You, I was gonna say that because I I do be wondering about him sometimes. Mm-hmm. But they obviously don't want us to to forget about yeah. him. So it's it's cool that they they remind us here and there. Sometimes it's alright to just let him fade away. <laughs> you know, we don't gotta know about him until you pop up on the screen. <laughs> okay. It was a nice little song. That is still in the back of my mind too, low key. Like that that still hasn't faded. I know they haven't touched on mm-hmm. it, but I still don't I, I don't know. I still don't believe that that chapter is closed, man. I don't know. I mean, they are. I don't know. We only got another season, though, so they, they are Maybe. throwing light jabs out there. So you know, you never yeah. know. Yeah, that's all for this. All right, so uh, score this episode and wrap this up. Uh, like I said, that saving at the end is probably gonna bring this up to like a cool little eight because I have fun talking about it after. Mm, okay. Yeah. So I, I'll give this one a cool little eight. All right. <laughs> we are your yeah, two hosts who love the boats, and today we boasted about breaking bad. Oh man, I can't wait for these next episodes. These next episodes are gonna be really, really lit. Can't wait for us to dive in and oh. So without further ado, don't forget to like, don't forget to comment, don't forget to subscribe. Also hit that notification bell so you get notified when we go live. F double R out. Peace. Peace.